This video is going to take a look at fishbone or cause and effect diagrams. The cause and effect diagram is a great way of, of generating a lot of possible causes about a problem or generating things that have to be done to reach a goal. In the SPC for Excel software, the cause and effect diagram or fishbone diagram is accessed on the cause and effect panel on the SPC for Excel ribbon. You just select fishbone and you get your fishbone template put into a new worksheet. Now the way this is set up, you have the cause and effect diagram up here. You can change the title. You have the date. You can enter here where you were doing the cause and effect diagram. You can put in the name of the team and we'll call it Bill's team. And then the major categories are the four M's of P and an E. So you have measurement, machines, methods, materials, people, and environment. You can change those if you would like. And down here you can enter the problem or the goal. And we're going to work on machine downtime. So what you do then in a brainstorming session, you simply ask people for ideas. And somebody would come up perhaps and say, no preventative maintenance. Well, you're going to add an item. You come in and you put, we will call it no PM, preventative maintenance. And then you decide where you want to, to put that. And we're going to put it under methods. Okay, another person came in and said, well, we do have it. It's just not very good. So it's, it's uh, poor preventative maintenance. And we select OK. And it comes again maybe over to methods. Now we might have an item where somebody says training. So we put training here. We select OK. And maybe we put training over here on people. And now there might be a couple things that are sub-items under that. For example, it could be lack of training. And notice the side that the sub-item comes out at an angle, and it can be put under training here. Maybe we have another one, which is no training. comes into here, and you pull it into here. Okay. So machine downtimes, can, all the reasons can go all over here. You can have, for example, no operator. Might be under people. Not scheduled to run. Okay. That might be under measurement, for example. All right. You might have an item where it uh, runs out of oil, cause machine downtime, and put it perhaps over here on materials. But this is the idea. Then you simply go through and generate as many ideas as you possibly can to do your cause and effect diagram. So this is how easy it is to do a cause and effect diagram using the SPC for Excel software. Thank you. Mm -hmm.